do 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 Incredible. One of my worst performances of my life, and they never doubted it for a second. How could they possibly expect me to go to school on a day like this? I've got two RTSs so far this month. If I get another one, I'm probably gonna barf. So I need to make this next one count. The key to getting a good TTM is to do your research. A lot of people will tell you that you can use studio fan mail, but the problem with that is you may end up getting a preprint, and that's worse than being in high school. The tips to getting a good TTM in the mail are to do your research, make sure you have the proper postage, and lick your stamps and envelopes. It's a little bit childish, but then again, so is high school. The mail moves pretty fast. If you don't stop to send out some TTMs, you might be missing your chance to get some good autographs. I do have to go to the post office today. That wasn't bullshit. I don't have any problem with dealers. I mean, what's the point? Once it gets on eBay, it's gotta go to a fan at the end anyways, right? I recall Central Park and Fall, how you tore your dress. What a mess, I confess. It's not that I don't want to go to the post office. It's just that it's been snowing the last couple days. And I have to get out of the house. I've got cabin fever. I gotta believe in myself that I can get to the post office. To quote John Lennon, I don't believe in the Beatles. I just believe in myself. Then again, he was the walrus. I could be the walrus. Still doesn't change the fact that I need to get some stamps. So sometimes when I'm sending out to someone, I like to draw in the envelopes. I don't really think it changes anything as far as like the returns I get, but I like to think that it, it makes some people happy, even if it's just the post people as they hand it off to each other. So here I am, I'm, I'm drawing something for the guy who created Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm sending him out a, an autograph. I hope he signs it, but I think the chances are pretty slim. But I'm still going to do it. Uh, while I'm showing you this, I'd also like to kind of scroll through some of the templates I've been working on for some new customs. I've been getting really into Black Sails, the new show about pirates. Um, so I've got quite a few of these going out. I also have a G.I. Joe template that uh, I've kind of had in the, the works for a while. I finally am happy with the result that I see. I'm really stoked about a new James Bond custom I'm working on. I was thinking about sending out to the Bond girls. I think that would be an awesome project. Uh, going back to some of my roots of my favorite movies growing up, um, I have a Better Off Dead template. I'm really excited about this. I you know, if, if you've seen this, I don't need to explain a goddamn thing to you. You know exactly what I'm going for here. Uh, I also have a Kung Pao template. There's not really a lot of people I can send to on this, but I love the film. and I, I want to let the actors and actresses know that. And so I'll be sending them some letters. Uh, and then I'm going old school here with a couple other things. I've got a, a Night of the Living Dead template here. I use the same uh, kind of blood spatter that I used for my Walking Dead template, but I use this green color that really just made this pop. Um, and then, I don't know if I've ever told you guys this, but my favorite TV show of all time, hands down, no doubt about it, is The Twilight Zone. In my opinion, there's nothing more creative or better that's ever been produced, and I'm going to be sending out a ton of Twilight Zone uh, autograph cards, and I'm hoping to get a lot back. All right, so I'm headed out to the post office here. Um, it's been really crazy weather out here lately. We've had severe snow weathers and uh, warnings and stuff like that. 
Uh, those, those have passed now, so I can finally go out and drive somewhere. And I'm headed to the post office. It's, it's been a few days um, since I've even been able to get out of the house. So I'm really excited just to go out anywhere. Uh, I'm driving a little bit further than the closest post office. Well, I guess it's probably the closest to me. But I really like this place that I'm going to because um, there's like never a line there. I don't have to wait. And that's one of the things I hate most about going to the post office is, is if the one by you is just like, I don't know. There's something about a slow moving post office that uh, it just drives you up a wall. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so we've talked about what I'll be sending out soon. Uh, a little bit about the envelopes. Uh, I want to show you some of the stuff I've got in recently. So one of my favorite actors, uh, I love this guy and I was real excited to get this back. Uh, this one's coming from Nick Frost. The first one I want to show you is the, the Shaun of the Dead photo that I sent him out. Uh, I, so far I have two people that have signed for this so I really like that. Uh, he's got a cool looking signature too I think. He also signed the um, Hot Fuzz photo that I sent him out where he was Danny Butterman. And I think this turned out really great. I'm just super stoked to see it back. And he also signed the Space photo that I sent him out as well too. Space is a really funny show. If you haven't had a chance to check it out, man, you totally should. That's a good show. Uh, I also want to give props to Nick Frost for uh, sending back the money that I sent him for postage. So this went over across the pond there, and um, normally I send a few dollars to cover postage for the way back. He totally included that and just spotted the postage uh, all by himself, so that's really cool. I, I honestly appreciate that. Uh, in the last episode um, of the Autograph Stash, you saw the custom I made for Ed Asner. Well, today I got that one back. Oh, not today, but recently. Um, he writes, Prime, great name, the best of life, Ed Asner. He also signed a index card for me, to the best fan in Portland, my best, Ed Asner. This dude's a rock star, um, I mean, he's been in the business a long time, and he's still taking time to sign for his fans, and I think that's a, um, a real show of, of how much he appreciates his fans, and that's awesome. Uh, this next one here is a rad autograph. Uh, let's see. So I've got Bill, Lori, and Bart. Uh, I've got three rad autographs so far. This makes my fourth one. Uh, this is for John. I think it's Farnham. Um, he he wrote in. Well, I don't know if he wrote them, but he sang three of the songs in the soundtrack. Um, Break the ice. Thunder in your heart. One other one too, I can't think of it off the top of my head, but uh, I love, love the music in that film, so it was really cool to get that back. That was a success from Australia too. Um, again, anytime they're coming outside the States, yeah, there's just something rad about that. Uh, up next, Jerry, Gerald Prescott Sales. Uh, now she played Jackie in The Walking Dead. Of course, I sent her out The Walking Dead Custom. She writes, Prime, thank you for the zombie love, and then signs it. I thought that was really cool of her. Uh, she did also sign the index cards that I sent her as well, too, so love that. Um, this next one is Shirley Jones. Now, she's been in a lot of things, but uh, the two things that I really wanted to get her to sign, she did, and I'm, I'm very thankful. One of them is the Raising Hope template, um, or Raising Hope custom that I sent out to her. I've got a lot of people that have signed these so far. I think I think this might be like my eighth uh, Raising Hope success. So very stoked on that. Uh, she also signed my Grandma's Boy custom. Now this is one of the ones I had like the most fun making. Um, it just everything just worked out so well with it. And this is my third Grandma's Boy success. Um, this next one here is from uh, Eddie McClurg. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing the last name right. Edie, not Eddie. <sighs> Prime you idiot. 
Um, but this is a good one. So I'll start off by showing you the index card that she signed for me. She's got really nice handwriting. I think the signature just looks fantastic. Um, she did sign my Wreck-It Ralph custom. Uh, so now I have uh, two on this and then I have another cut signature I can use uh, for uh, the third one getting on there. So she played Mary in Wreck-It Ralph. And if you haven't seen Wreck-It Ralph and you enjoy video games and arcades and all that good stuff, totally go and, and check it out. Um, now, probably the main reason I sent out to her and the reason why you saw the, the Ferris Bueller intro. Hopefully you guys recognize that. I had a lot of fun filming that today. Uh, she played Grace. Uh, a, a, just a wonderful character from the show and, and she played it perfectly. Um, I was really happy that she signed this for me. So, um, Alan Ruck signed and uh, Jeffrey Jones. I feel like I have one other. I could be wrong, but this is either like my third or fourth success from uh, Ferris Bueller's Day Off. So, really cool on that. Um, and the last one I'm going to share with you guys today is from Nancy Malone. Uh, so I'll start off by showing you her signature on the index card. It's a good looking signature. Um, I'm very thankful that she signed and she signed really fast too so I appreciated that. Uh, she did sign my Twilight Zone custom that I sent out to her. Um, she played the... what was the episode? Um, Stopover... I can't remember it. Uh, the, I can't remember the exact name but it's the episode where um, her and her boyfriend wake up after a, a heavy night of drinking and I'm not going to ruin it for you because in case you want to check it out, it's a great episode. But they wake up in this town where everything is fake. The cupboards are fake. The trees are fake. And they're not quite sure what's going on. It's, it's really, really cool. I'm so thankful that she signed that for me. Um, she also uh, sent me a quick note too. So it says, uh, Dear Prime, thank you for your nice note. Uh, the Twilight Zone remains as one of my favorites as well. Good luck, and she signed it. Uh, in the letter I wrote to her, I talked about um, just like how cool the Twilight Zone is and how it's it's one of the only TV shows from that that time that's that's held up. I mean, you could go and watch the Twilight Zone right now, even though it's in black and white, you'll still be impressed by it. I want to say thanks again to all the people that signed for me. I, I really appreciate that. Um, I want to say thanks to you guys that have all watched as well, too. Before we end this episode, I'm going to take a look back at some of the comments I got from the last episode. Uh, first one is from Troy Rudder. Uh, cool video, Stash. Good to see you. Thanks, man. It feels good to be back. Uh, Kevin Wallace writes, good stuff. Stacy Schaefer, double S. Prime, you are the man. Come on, Stacy. We know you're the man. Um, totally epic and rad video, my friend. Good to see you back. Borderlands 2 SS. Uh, very cool. TTM Base, he writes. And also, what's up, Dan, by the way. Uh, nice to see you back. Making the videos very funny. Thanks a lot, dude. Uh, you know, a lot of a lot of you guys may not know that, you know, when you get comments like this, it, it kind of fuels your uh, creative fire to get, you know, the next one made out. And it sounds silly, but just simple things like this really do mean a lot. Um, and this just goes to show you, Randy W here, great to see you back, Prime. Made my shitty day a bit better. I'm just now getting back to the hobby myself, needed a break. Yeah, totally, man. It's really nice just to, to flip on the YouTube and kind of see what people are up to and, you know, maybe just watch that and, and wait till things fix themselves, right? Uh, Henry S. Autograph Beard. Yeah, you can see I, I shaved a little bit. I, I still have the stash. Um, I don't think I could go without that. Um, no, not the ink. I go to Ink Flash. <laughs> no problem, Prime. It's all good. He's talking about how I ran out of ink last time. I know that happens to you guys, too. Uh, Wesker Griff, glad to see a video from you, Prime. 
nice successes really dig in the Damian Clark very awesome voice actor and did some work on great shows like Dragon Ball Z and Full Metal Alchemist I've never seen Dragon Ball Z um, or Full, Full Metal but I like the name of Full Metal Alchemist because my last name is Altimus and it's it's pretty close uh, Alchemist Prime, I think, would be a, a very awesome character. I don't know what exactly it would look like, but I'm pretty sure it would be legit. Anyways, thanks for checking out this video, guys. We'll see you next time. Take care.